want to go man to man and use that to the hill single coverage even down low and on offense they still want to rely on their inside presence now for coach ryan he just reminded his words that they're still in the game hoping that the boys won't relax or give up coach ronnie Monsano simply said that they're just, they're just not making the stops that they need to do but obviously the fighting spirit's still there miko alex absolutely the, the, the pure foods fighting spirit still very evident but uh, you need to translate that fighting spirit into what coach uh, Ron McSannock described as you know, big stops. You got to make stops. And you know, we showed in the graphic before the game, hold your opponents below 90 points, very effective for Pure Foods and Santa Lucia both. Let them score above. I think Pure Foods is 3-5, and five, I believe, and their opponents have scored over 90 points. So, or 4-4, four and four, I'm sorry. Dennis now came in 15 points right away, 7 rebounds, and m most of that, he goes in the second half. This Chandler. He had Joseph Yo and a smart foul committing it on the floor. Santa Lucia with no fouls yet in the first six minutes of this fourth quarter. So Joseph giving up a good foul. With, oh, I'm sorry. That's their second team foul now. Five and 39 remaining in the game. Here's Peter Jun Simon. Lost the ball. And turn over, and the ninja on the move, all alone for two. It's going to be a very, very big basket, I think. It opens the lead up to 13 points, and now Joseph, with 22 points, has played fantastic basketball today. So how will Pure Food stay in this game? Right. Chandler once again. That's how they'll do it. Aggressively go into the glass. You know, he follows his own shot. Gets a nice put back. Cuts the lead to 11. Chandler with 30 big points for Pure Foods. Big steal right there. Here's Simon. One and one. Oh, nice move. Oh, Johnson says no way. No way. And there's a foul by Marklin Chandler in the backcourt. Wow, he's just... <laughs> Anthony Johnson never gave up on that shot. He just flies. I was watching him from half court line this up. He just plays volleyball with it again. Just taps it right off the board. Tremendous defensive stop. That was a sure two points for Jun Simon. So action continues here with under five minutes remaining in the game. Anthony Johnson, after that spectacular block, goes inside, and he'll take two. Strong drive to the basket, and again now, Johnson is 9 for 10 from the line, so he's been effective. He's got 23 and 23 right now. 23 points, 23 rebounds. Continues to work. Now he's doing an attack in the basket. Fourth personal against Marquand Chandler. And Anthony Johnson, you know, his athleticism in full display tonight. This whole game, defensively blocking shots, having a nice dunk where he just really took off, making drives to the basket, um, just had a fantastic game. Marquine Chandler himself is no slouch. He's got 30 points and 14 rebounds, having a big game too. But really it's the defense, I think, it's a key. Specifically this last four and a half minutes, Pure Foods has got to make those stops. 94-81, Pure Foods down by 13 points. With 4 and 25 remaining in the fourth, Salino Cruz to Villanueva and out of Kirby. Kirby Raimundo has had to sit for a long time on that Pure Foods bench. And Villanueva can't go up. Here's Chandler for three. Short. They got the ball going off Dennis after Kirby deflected it from behind. So the ball is going to be with Pure Foods with a full shot clock. 4.08 remaining in the playoff period, and the Realtors still lead 94-81. Well, this is one of those times now where if you're Santa Lucia, you can't relax. You cannot let up. you got to realize that defense has caused you to get a lot of transition buckets. You need to continue doing what you've done all game. And we caught the sequence during our Gatorade halfway point in the fourth quarter. Joseph Yo swiping it away, and the Ninja stepping on the gas and leaving everyone behind for two. That's a Gatorade. That was from our Gatorade halfway point. 
of the fourth quarter. Well, how much did you see him? I mean, since we've seen, started seeing Joseph Yo on television playing college basketball, LaSalle, how many times do you see him get those steal and breakaway layups? The PBL, the same thing. The PBA just gets out in transition and he's dangerous. That's going to be a hold against Ryan Reyes. But still, that's only the third foul now on Santa Lucia in this quarter. But that's five, five on Ryan. So Ryan's a really good defender. I feel like he needs to be in this game. If he picks up his sixth, it could be a big loss. Benefit for Santa Lucia. They still have Denok Miranda on the bench right now. Chandler on the move, thinking about that three. He takes it. And misses it. Rattles out. Another rebound for Dennis Espino. Uh, Dennis has just played huge. That's his ninth rebound already. 15 points and nine rebounds. Again, almost all of that in the second half. And he came off the bench as we send you to Patricia. A break on the skin of Peter June Simon's right ring finger is actually getting a lot of medical attention right now. It's actually bleeding a lot. We don't know how much it'll affect this game, but definitely they need him back. Back to you, Miko and Alex. Well, let's see if uh, Peter Jun Simon uh, can uh, fix that finger. But right now, Kirby Raimundo is on the line. There's Peter Jun Simon. Well, one of the benefits that Pure Foods has in the acquisition of Salino Cruz, you get a veteran point guard who can shoot the ball in there. I know that Jun Simon brings a different scoring look maybe than Salino, but with the lineup that you have, Chandler, Raimundo, yeah, you have a lot of scorers. Rich Alvarez in there maybe to do the dirty work, get some you know, putbacks, really get some stops. And Salino can make open threes that those other guys create. So big lineup, uh, tough lineup for Pure Foods. Three and a half remaining in the fourth and final quarter. 94-82, Santa Lucia still ahead. Joseph Yo needs help. They go to Espino. And Espino, boy, he has been a tower of strength uh, here for Santa Lucia. He has the ball with seven seconds to shoot. Espino with a curl. And convert. Oh, nice oh. job by Norman Gonzalez keeping that ball alive. Great work down there by Norman keeping the ball alive. Tremendous effort. Tapped it out. And, there, and at this point, the clock is really on Santa Lucia's side. So just great, great work by Norman down there. Fourth personal against Salino Cruz, uh, trying to slap that ball away from uh, Denok Miranda. Two FE guards from different, uh, different times. And power point guard Denok Miranda on the line. Really trying to create a safe distance uh, between Pure Foods and Santa Lucia. Well, making free throws late if you're a point guard and you've got the lead, that's that's part of the job description. So you want your point guard to be in these situations and Denox on the line, he's got to earn it from the stripe. Two for 